Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the 16th to the 22nd of March 2020 and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for nipping back Cyber Angel and if you're new then welcome too. And um, if you would like to become a Cyber Angel then please join me on Monday evening and Friday evening. Those are the live sessions where I'll be speaking only English and Wednesday is Dutch. So if you can speak Dutch you're more than welcome and uh, I, the family is growing so rapidly that I have had to split it up because the chat the chat room or the tea room was getting too busy for me to follow um, the chat do the cards uh, and uh, do super chats etc etc so I've got to get used to the speed of things and there's new uh, things developing like the collaboration with the real life witch and other creators in YouTube okay I'm doing the charms reading the crystal ball and the wild wood tarot uh, and the House of Shadow. That's a Lenormand deck and I hope you will enjoy that. And here we go. We're going to start off with the charms and let's see what is coming up for you. Okay, let's have a look. I'm not watching, watching what is being taken out but you've got the emotional chakra uh, joy that's the solar plex so open up your solar plex then we have the bird in the cage I hope you can see that I'll try to twig it then you see a little <laughs> silver lump that's the bird then we've got the dog we've got the dog where well, you can see that and we've got the angel feather the angels are with you and we've got the heart the heart a very delicate heart okay let's get started with the crystal ball Scorpio and I'll have to clear the energy of Libra okay I always do that did you know that if you leave a crystal ball in the windowsill and the sun ray shines on it that um, um, it can start a fire because of the prism prisma prisms in the crystal ball okay now let's have a look what can I see for you okay see a tree I see a tree tree perhaps you have sprouted roots perhaps you have sprouted roots perhaps a family family tree you need space you, you need time alone branch a branch perhaps you're branching out promotion branching out promotion <sighs> wow open your heart uh, solar plex let the joy uh, let the joy come in let the joy come in I see it yellow it's like gold yellow gold yellow okay you your your mind is clouded it looks like your mind is clouded definitely branching out or that's what you want to do I also see a cross don't be depressed don't be depressed get out of your head my darling okay okay get out of your head make that decision have faith 
you're stronger than you are. Okay. Cross. Okay. Okay, well, I think I'm going to leave it like that. You have to make decisions whether you're going to branch out, perhaps whether you're going to stay in the job or start for yourself. Perhaps you're working part-time and also for yourself. Whether you're going to give that up. I think you're going to branch out. Okay. Well, just bear with me and we're going on to the cards. Hi Scorpio, now we're going on to the reading. I put the cards out like you can see and I'm, uh, I've got to move the, a couple of things. Some, uh, I'm also moderator for Brenda Tarot readings. So go and have a look at her channel. She's a good, nice spiritual sister. I do work with her as well. Okay, I had to go out to her life, okay? So that's why I'm coming back in the middle of this if you see a click. I'm using the Wildwood Tarot and the House of Shadows. You can watch a review on this deck as well. Okay, well we're going to see whether the feathers respond to the crystal. Uh, I think we've already done that. And um, yes, let's just refresh your memories. Uh, you need to do contemplation, sit quietly because you are too much up in your head you might be depressed and you might be locking yourself up like the bird in the cage so you need to get out of your head and not being depressed you have to open up your heart and your solar plex okay you've got the feather the angels are with you there might be an extension of an animal in the family this could be a dog but i haven't uh, or a cat or any other pet okay um you are also um open your heart open your solar plex that's the heart okay my sweetie and the feather ask the angels this is archangel jovial that's the solar plex so l open it up and let the sun go and sit in sunshine that's yellow as well or sit in the rays of sunshine and think contemplate evaluate okay now Let's have a look at the cards. The first card that you have is the Knight of Stones, is the Knight of Pentacles. So he's going to bring you news. You could be meeting um, a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. You might be getting a news from a Capricorn, Taurus or a Virgo. You've got number 27. You might be partnering up with them. So it could be a contract, it could be a love letter, it could be a proposal, because a proposal is also for, with, has durability and long term. You can see the two people sitting on the diamond. And 25 becomes a 7. And that means love, and the heart means love. So open up your heart and receive it. Okay, that could be to do with the roots. Perhaps you are setting down new roots with this person. Okay, there are celebrations because you've got joy. The three of vessels, the three of cups. You might be getting engaged and celebrating with family and friends. You've got the key in your own hands you can open the door open your heart chakra open your solar plex to love and you can close it to negativity you've got number 33 so that's an angel number the angels are with you and the feather is actually lying underneath that card as well the feather could have also been lying here far away from the key so open that door and it's lying next to the ring so you can open the door to partnerships then we have the four the four the green man so that is the 
the green man is number four from the big arcana that is the emperor the emperor and that means justice or that could mean justice for you it is a mature man you might be seeking advice from a mature mature man and the emperor actually looks a lot like the hierophant so uh, in the olden days there was an emperor or a kaiser or a king where you had to seek um, uh, permission to get married boom <coughs> Perhaps you might be seeking advice from an official um, to get married. Usually there are a four to six weeks um, under marriage. I don't know what you call it in pre-marriage. Before you're getting married, you have to get asked, apply for a license. And it takes four to, and it's card number four, to six weeks to uh, get permission that everything, that you you can get married because if you're getting married to a divorcee they have to double check that he is uh, divorced and you've got the letter you're going to receive news but this could also mean official papers and 27 means an end so it's an end to being single for example a new beginning is around the corner so there you go official news or news in general there will be celebrations okay Ooh, 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 nice one. Okay, Scorpio. And you've got the Eight of Bows, the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands. You might be traveling, and again, the usually it is eight ones flying through the air, so news. This could be cyber news. This could be email, text message, or a telephone call. Or you might be going on holiday. This could be honeymoon. Since I know it's not a, a romance reading, but it strongly sees like that. You're getting engaged or married, officiality, official advice, or a father figure. Um, you will be getting news from an official pe person. This could be a, 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 a marriage registry that you're going to get official papers and you're going to get the news. Your husband and wife you might be going on honeymoon then you've got the tower and the tower in the honey in the Lenormand in this deck means mature man as well according to the author uh, because the tower is tall and it it takes a long time to build so it's old and tall long that is all what the tower represents you've got victory because the flag is hanging out celebrations you've reached the top you've reached your goal it means ambitions something in this card is built on proper foundations because the tower is standing strong and tall you might be moving to an apartment okay um, you're going the long haul so you're going to get married but I'm keeping in the back of my mind the tarot tower and that means unexpected changes so there could be unexpected you might not have been expecting to get married and that is the unexpected change the tower in the tarot f is falling down and people falling down okay uh, the, and the, the tower is falling down because it's not built on proper foundations but this is you are building it this is the positiveness of the Lenaman. that's the difference between the tarot and the Lenaman. but so keep it in the back of your mind you might not be ex getting uh, exper uh, expecting to get married that quickly and you've got a boom a license just like that you've got 19 an ending because it's a 10 9 and 1 is 10 and a new beginning is number 1 because 10 becomes a number 1 at the bottom of the deck you have the book the book means there might be secrets the book means that you might start a new study so that could also be official papers your certificate your diploma okay contracts and you might have to start a new study okay there might be secrets so that's why you have to have the papers checked out and uh, have to get official um, advice justice it's also what it is meant in this in this deck so justice means it has to be officially uh, sealed or officially checked out now the bottom of this deck you have the ace of stones the foundation of life well marriage is a foundation of life um, 
as it is the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, a job is a foundation of life. A new house is a foundation of life. Wow, wow, wow. That is also official papers if you're getting a new house, be it renting or buying. You have to sign contracts. Be careful, you need advice. Watch out for the small print, laying down foundations for life. Marriage is a foundation for life together. So, I think you're coming out of the cage and you have felt imprisoned, but by the looks of this reading and by um, the reading I had in the crystal ball, you were putting down roots. I saw a tree, roots, and I saw branching out. So you might be even uh, getting pregnant, wanting to get, hearing that you are getting pregnant. Marriage, pregnancy, officiality, birth certificate, marriage certificate, you name it. Branching out from high rise to a home, okay, with a garden, because this is the pentacles, that is earth, so garden. Okay, so you're putting down roots. I think that is your title for this reading today, Scorpio. Ask the angels, know that you're not alone. Perhaps you're branching out with a pet and not a baby. You, I think you've opened your heart this week and your emotional chakra and joy will prevail. Okay, wow. Magic. Thank you very much for watching this video and give us the thumbs up. Uh, sorry, this is the list from Brenda. It shouldn't have been there. Um, give us the thumbs up and please share this video with family and friends and I hope to see you in the live on Monday or Friday and otherwise on Wednesday if you speak Dutch and uh, otherwise in the next video. Be blessed and enjoy your week. Take care. Bye-bye.